how to create survey on MailChimp and add to email. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how to create survey on MailChimp and add to email. Now to begin our tutorial, as you can see right now, we are at the home page of MailChimp. We're simply going to look on the left side and click on audience over here. Now under audience, we have the audience dashboard, all contacts, sign up forms, tags, segments, surveys, and inbox. What we're going to click on is the surveys. And then as you can see over here on the center, we are at the sections for survey. Over here, you can see that we have the current audience over here. By simply clicking this, you would be able to select your audience that you want to target. Now scrolling down, this is where you will be able to see your drafts and finish surveys. Now scrolling down more, we can see that we can start creating our surveys using templates, post purchase 1 to 10 scale survey, post purchase emoji survey, post event 1 to 10 scale survey, post event emoji survey, where did you hear about a survey and growth opportunities survey. You can click on any of these options and each and every one of these options is a template that you can simply edit and it customize for your own businesses. Now to create our own blank surveys, we could simply click on this create survey button over here. Now this will redirect us to the survey editing page over here. As you can see, we have no elements or blocks as of now, but to add a block, we're simply going to click on this icon over here. Then this will show us four options, introductions, which are welcome text, video or image explaining how the feedback will be used, a radio button where a single answer from a list of options will be available, a checkbox where the audience will be able to select multiple answers from the list of options, and also a range over here. Now actually we have more options but by clicking on the scroll bar on the right, we can simply drag over here and then we can see for our options. We could add open text, we could add emails, contact information, and contact block. Open text provide an open text response. Email provides an email to be added to your audience. Contact information provides user-specific data like name, address, age, and gender. And then with the content block, you can add text, video, or image without a question. Now, the first thing we're going to add is the introduction. Now, over here, we can see that we can have an embedded video, text introduction, or an image introduction. Using embed video, you could get a YouTube video or a Vimeo video introduction for the top of your survey. For the text introduction, you can explain how the feedback would be used or any set of specific instructions that you want to mention for your survey. And on the image, you can use this to make your survey more visually appealing or gather feedback about this specific image. For now, we're going to click on text introduction then we're going to say, welcome to our survey. Just like that. And then as you can see here on the right side, we can see the section type, which is the introduction. We could change this by clicking over here. We could choose the option radio buttons, checklist, checkboxes, open text, range, email, content block, and contact information. We could also duplicate this specific section by clicking on this duplicate. And you could delete this section by clicking on delete question. Now the next thing we're going to add is a radio button. By clicking this, we would have this section over here where we can input a text that we want to ask over here. What I'm going to ask is what type of copy do you like? And then over here, we can add options such as black, then to add another option, you're simply going to click on enter or return to add another option. I'm going to add with milk. Then click on enter once again. Could add espresso, just like that. Click on enter. And you can add as many options as you want. You could also have these options on the right side once again. We could make this question to be a requirement before they can proceed. We could toggle the other options where if their answer is not located over here, they could simply click on this option, which is other. We could also enable auto tagging by clicking this. We could also, like we saw earlier, duplicate and delete the question. 
Now to remove an option, we can see here on the right side, we have a minus icon and an addition icon. The addition icon adds another option, while the minus button deletes this option. Now we're going to add another section by clicking on this icon. And then we're going to choose checkboxes. Now under checkboxes, you can click on multiple options as your answer. And you can have all the options as your answers. Just like earlier, I'm going to ask what type of coffee do you like? And then over here, we're going to enter our option, which is black. Then click on enter, milk, or espresso. Now the same thing on the right side, we can make it a requirement. The toggle the other option. And duplicate and delete the question. Now we're going to add another section. We're going to look at the range option, it's like this. As you can see here, we can ask a question, how much do you love coffee? And the audience can choose from the options zero to 10, where the zero is the lowest and the 10 is the highest. Using this, they can rate how much they love coffee. And as we see here on the right side, we can change the values from zero to five, one to five, 0 to 7, 1 to 7, 0 to 10, 1 to 10, or we can use stars, emojis, or hearts, just like this. You can see that this one has 1 heart, 2 heart, 3 hearts, 4 hearts, and 5 hearts. You could also add a label for the low range over here, such as low. And then over here, we can also change the label for the high range to whatever we want. I'm going to add super. Just like that and the same thing as earlier we have required auto tagging duplicate questions and delete question we're going to add one more we could choose from these options over here we can provide a text just like this and we could add a question where the answer is a text same question as earlier we're going to add over here and then they can type in their specific answers over here on the answer bar and then after creating your survey after adding anything you want, you could simply click on this button over here on the top right. And then this will redirect us to this page where we can customize the design of our survey. As you can see here, we can interact with our survey and see what would happen when the audience would select the specific questions. For example, what we're doing right now, when we click over the different options, and then when they click on other, they would be able to type a specific answers for our question. Now over here in the checkboxes, we can select multiple options, just like I said earlier, or they could also click on other and then, and then type in their specific answers. Now for the ranges, they can click on the low or the super, just like that. And then over here, and then over here, they can type in their specific answers and that, and then our survey will accept their answers as a text. Now over here on the right side, we can see, we can customize our page. We can click on branding where we can add an image for our survey. I'm going to add one image like that. We're going to insert it. And as you can see, we can see our image over here on our survey preview. We could also include the MailChimp badge, but we're going to have to upgrade our plan to remove the MailChimp badge. Now we can click on custom messaging where we can change the title to whatever we want, coffee survey, just like that. Then we would be able to see it over here on the top. We can make this bowl, select that. We would also change the submit label over here to anything we want, like send, select that. This will change. We could also add a confirmation message. This is thank you for taking our survey. Select that. We can see it over here changing. We could also have a closed survey message, do whatever we want, and then a required response error message when they forget to answer a specific question. We're going to add, this is a required question, please answer, just like that. Over here, we can click on styles, where we can change the background color, the button color, and the button text color of our survey. We could click on this. And then over here, we can drag our color circle 
to any color that we want. We're going to set up with this. Then we can change our button color by clicking on that. And we're going to make it similar to our earlier, just like that. And you can also change the button text color. Now, after customizing your page, you can click on this button over here on the top right once again. And then over here, we will be able to edit our survey name. We could change our audience. We could enable this immediate notifications, or we can enable the daily summary. Now to edit our survey name, we could simply click on this and then you can type in coffee survey, select that then click on save. Now after this, we're simply going to click on this button again, select that. And now we are redirected over here. Now we can share our survey through email. You can share it through our URL, share on Facebook or share on Twitter. Now, as you can see here, it is recommended that we create a new email for our survey to, to be sent to our different audience, or we could use our existing email or automation. Scrolling down, we can have this, we can see this survey settings over here where we can select this option if we want to still collecting feedback or no longer collect feedback. And like we saw earlier, we have the daily summary, immediate notification. You could edit your survey once again by clicking this option over here. Now to add your survey to email, you can simply click on this option over here and then you would be able to create your email. And then after creating your own email or choosing a specific template, you can simply have your newly created survey within that email. And that's it guys. That's how you can create a survey on MailChimp. Thanks for watching.